Hello, and welcome to episode 178 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on making a tapestry stand. But first, oh, where are you? There you are. Say hello, Rainstorm. Hi, everyone. Rainstorm here. Okay, so we are making a stand for tapestries. As any self-respecting king or queen needs tapestries to make their homes into castles and I'm sure you'll agree they really do. Uh, they are very nice for decorating your castles that you no doubt all built. First of all here's some notes on the tapestry stand. Making a tapestry tapestry stand uses the fine carpentry skill so there's another use for the fine carpentry we must have been using it quite a bit of late uh, secondly it can be picked up by hand once it's finished so you can then place it down wherever you wish which is very useful and will always show as being made from birch wood regardless of what wood type you use in the construction and that's an important one because no doubt you'll all look at your tapestries and think, wait a minute, I didn't use birch. Would I use cedar or pine or whatever other material? But just be aware, it will always show, well, until of course they change it, because I expect they will change that at some point. It'll always show being made from birchwood. Okay, total materials to make a tapestry stand is one plank, four shafts and two small nails. In order to make a tapestry stand, you need to activate, so let's find in my pocket, activate the a plank and then right click on a shaft, create resources is where it's located and you'll see, now remember I've got a fine carpentry skill of 51.25 and for me, there's a 63% chance to make this. Rainstorm, your skill's at 60 plus, isn't it, for fine carpentry? Correct. And Correct. What, and what is your percentage? Um, I think it said 63. So. Uh, let me go get one and I'll tell you why you're rambling on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's sorry, I just why had to. thank you for saying I'm rambling on. Well, that's what... Uh, I do anyway, isn't it? So. Well, it's true. So what Can we're going to demonstrate here is, even though I'm 51, Rainstorm's over 60, it's still exactly the same. But let's just double check. When Rainstorm's good and ready, that is. Oh, I don't need a branch. I need a... <laughs> I know what you need, but I can't really say because it's a family channel. <laughs> You grab a log and you get your carving knife out and make yourself a shot. Hey, I'm a master carpenter, so. <laughs> what do you mean? You're yeah. only ten more than me. I know. I'm a master carpenter. Oh, are you? Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Construction material shaft. 99% to make one. Uh, there we go. Shaft, plank, create, resources. 66% now. Oh, all right. And so, my, free. And my, skill, and my skill is at, for fine carpentry, 61. Yes, yeah, so you're 10 ahead of me, and there's a 3% difference. Well, there yeah. you go. As long as you get your skills to 50, you're definitely going to be good enough for all of what we've covered in the previous episodes. How do I know? Because that's what my skills are. So, I wouldn't have been able to make anything in the previous episodes if it weren't good enough. So that's what you should aim for with your fine carpentry. Anyway, so getting on with the tapestry stand. We right click on the shaft, activating the plank, go to create resources and let's click it. And there we go, it's plonked this unfinished cedar wood notice it says now. 
cedarwood tapestry stand on the ground so what I'm going to do is right click on it add to the crafting window and for those of you that want to find this in the crafting uh, just type in tap scroll right to the bottom and you'll see it under resources remember resources and it's tapestry stand right okay so we need to add, I need to add three more shafts and two more small nails. So let's do the nails first. Whack that up to four and continue. Okay, let's do the shafts and continue. And there we go. Lo and behold, we have ourselves a, wait a minute, it says Cedarwood Tapestry Stand. So they have fixed that um, because what I read earlier was from the Wormpedia. Um, so ignore the fact that on Wormpedia it says that it will always say Birchwood. It, now they fixed it so it actually says the wood you've used. So there's the first thing. And actually, now that we've finished it, it's prepared us for the next episode, which will be on, you guessed it, tapestries. And we're, we're going to go through all the different tapestries that you can make. Now, Rainstorm, is there anything else that we can mention here? Yes. When you want to improve the tapestry stand, it has to be on the ground. You can't pick it up and do it in your inventory. Actually, it has to be on the ground to improve it. Oh, let's check. What... What uh, is it actually? So it's a 21.31 and it can be improved with a log. So let's give it a go quickly. Do you have a log in your pocket? Ah, oh, okay. I'm... Oh, you're going <laughs> to get a log. Thank you. No, I'll get you one. Yeah, I don't have a log actually. I have a tendency of doing that, saying something and not actually realising that I can't actually do it. Coming back with a log. Thank you. Don't know why we do it this way. It's easier just dropping it on the ground. Yeah, we're old fashioned. Right, okay, so tapestry stand, as Rainstorm's pointed out, because remember, you can pick it up. And if we try and activate the log and right click on it and improve, it says you may need use this item from the ground so thank you rainstorm for mentioning that okay let's drop it on the ground now let's activate the log right click and improve the log is in too poor shape <laughs> i got you too low of a quality why thank you rainstorm you got me a 15.93 quality log to improve a 21.31 quality no, stand. Are you sure? Because I pulled it out of a 20 quality bin. There shouldn't be a... You sure you don't have another log in there somewhere? You set me up good and proper. You did. You set me up good and proper. Okay, drop that one on the ground. I want to make sure you... That my dear, is fuel for the forge and nothing else. Yes, exactly. Oh, well, that's... actually, you can use it for making starter items. Oh, yeah, true. Right, okay, so back to the stand. Let's activate the log and improve. And there you go. So next it's a file, but let's just take a look. So there we go. That's how you must improve your tapestry stands. And once you've got it to the desired quality level, then we're going to think about hanging a tapestry on it. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Rainstorm? No, that's all I can think of for that. That's what I noticed when I was making one. Okay, thank you for your input. It never was going to be a very long episode. Um, it's just really doing the first component on our step towards tapestries. Okay, if you want to say your goodbyes, I'll say the outro. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you very much for your logs, even though one of them was very low quality. Thank you for your time and your effort, Brainstorm, as usual. Thank you very much. 
Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.